Hi, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play When You Love Someone by James G.W. To play this song, you'll need a capo on the fifth fret. You'll need that for the studio version and in the live version as well, he plays it with a capo on the fifth fret. All right, so we're going to check out how to play the way he plays the song and the way it's played in the recording. It's the same the way he plays in the recording and the way, the way he plays it live. Okay, let's learn the intro first, and it's also going to go for the verse of the song. Repeat again. Alright, so we're using different chord shapes over here. The first one that we're using has 2nd fret on 5th string. 2nd fret on 3rd string, 3rd fret on 2nd string. Alright, so you've got open on your 4th string and 1st string we're not really using. So, what you do is first you're going to pick 5th string and 2nd string together. Okay. Then you're going to pick 3rd string. Okay. Right, so till now you have after that what you're going to do is with the help of your middle finger you're going to do a little strum okay now that strum can be anywhere just just make sure it's you know in those middle strings over here okay like that with the help of your middle finger now there's an option what you can do is along with the strum you can do a little slap Alright, so you do the slap with the help of your thumb uh, when you hit the strings and that makes makes a sound. At the same time you're doing the strum. So if you can't do that, just do the strum. Okay, so that will be. Okay, once again. And then you have to slide this shape to fit up, alright? Okay, so when you come to that next shape, which is two frets up, everything goes two frets up, so this will be fourth fret, open on fourth string, fourth fret on third string, and fifth fret on second string. All right, so. And here you just do, okay, so this will be picking the second string and fifth string together picking the third string and then just doing the slap so there is no strum over here and just doing the slap okay uh, with your um, with the help of your thumb again you can just you know rest you know hit the hit your hit your thumb on on the strings again so if you put that all together you have right once again you know when I do the slap on both occasions all right next you come over here okay once again so this will be fifth fret on fifth string all right one two three four five and seventh fret on third string and second str and second string okay First you're going to pick 5th string and 2nd string together. Then you're going to pick 3rd string and 5th string. So. Okay, once again. After that, you're going to have 8th fret on 2nd string. Then back to 7th fret on 2nd string and 5th fret on 5th string picked together. So if you put that all together on this shape, you have once again, or you can just do right if you if you want to avoid that bass note, but that's what you have. So if you put all of those three shapes together, you have. again all right and now you come over here all right and that 
that ends your riff after that you're just going to repeat everything again so let's see once again what we did over here so let's take a look at the chord over here you've got third fret on top string third fret on second string and you have fifth fret on first string okay so that's with the help of your little finger you can uh, reach that fifth fret on the first string okay So as you can see, first just start by picking top string and second strings, both of them together. Okay. Then you pick third string and fourth string, open and open. All right. Then you pick first string and then second string. So. And I'm just going to do that once again. So this is two times, right? One and two. Okay, so. Right, so if I go in normal speed from the first shape to that last shape, shape over there, all of that, you get this. keep repeating that over and over again so this is played just two times in the intro and then you start with the verse now for the verse we're going to play this segment four times all right so if you combine the intro and the verse together in total from the beginning to the point when you change the chords you're going to play this riff six times two times in the intro and then for the verse this is played four times so this is one one it's played four times in the verse when he starts singing and then you come to the pre-chorus of the song so let's see how to play the pre-chorus now da, da, da. then you go to the chorus of the song Alright, so this is very easy as you can see, we're just doing a simple strum pattern. So as you can see, we're using four different chord shapes. Right, so the first one, you've got second fret on the fifth string, open, open on fourth and third string, third fret on second string, alright? So this is just going to be two notes over here. And open on the top string as well, right? Then you have top string on third fret. Okay, so the first shape, second shape, third shape, you've got open on fourth string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string. We're not really using the first string, right? And then the last shape is like this A over here, you've got open on A string, then you have a second fret, second fret, second string, second fret on fourth, third and second string. You can play like this as well, alright? So don't make sense. So the strum pattern is like this down down up down up down up that's on each chord so down down up down up down up so let's try that down down up down up down up and place that third fret over here down down up down up down up d down down up down up down up and then down down up down up down up right so down Stop on A, so down the next time, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, and from D to A, just do a simple down strum. And then you go to the chorus of the song. So now let's see how to play the chorus. back 
back to the chorus, back to the next verse of the song. Alright, so you start the chorus. Um, again, as you can see, we are just moving around four different chord shapes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the first one, second fret on fifth string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string. You're first going to pick fifth string by itself with the help of your thumb. Then you're going to pick second and third strings together. And then you're going to do a little slap. Alright, so and that's all that you're doing. That's you know the main picking pattern over here. Next you come to fifth string open and same second and third strings picked together. And both of them are second fret this time into the slap. So, okay. Next shape is just like the first one where you had second fret on fifth string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string. But it's the same thing, but you just move your index finger from second fret on fifth string to second fret on top string. Okay. And the picking. Uh, the bass note will obviously move to the top string. This remains the same. Okay, so from the beginning. Next, you go to top string, third fret, and second fret. Same, this is the same again. Second fret on third string and third fret on second string. It's just that the fingers are now different. So you have middle finger over here, index finger, and ring finger over here, right? And that's going to be your chorus. You're going to do this three times over, right? So, two, and three. Now, the last time. So, this is just you moving from. This is the first shape, second fret on fifth string, open second fret, third fret, right? You can do anything, you can either do it the picking way or you can do the strum. Uh, doing the strum way, and you love someone, right? So you've got down, 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 up, down, down, right? Uh, the next shape will be third fret on top string and third fret on second string, down, so down. Once again, down, 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 up, down, and you love someone. And then you come to our next verse of the song, the main riff that we learned in the beginning. Okay, so you're going to play second verse, you're going to play second pre chorus, you're going to play second chorus again. Everything the same as, you know, uh, the first verse, pre-chorus and chorus that we've just learned. Now as for the bridge which comes after the second chorus, it's same, the bridge is going to be the same as the riff, the main riff of the song, so the verse. And you can hear that, you know, after the second chorus, the same riff is being played. And once again, so just two times. Stop over here for a while and then you start with the chorus again. Then after the chorus, just like every other chorus, you're gonna come back to that main riff and you're going to play that four times to end the song. riff is going to be played four times in the very end all right so that is all there is for when you love someone by james dw i hope you liked the lesson if you liked it if you want to learn more songs then please go to my channel there's lots of other songs that you can learn thanks for watching the video thanks for all your feedback i really appreciate all of your support i'll see you guys in the next lesson with another lesson so goodbye and take care